Hey guys, um, today I am going to speak to you, it's kind of a little bit different this video, it's more of a um, review than my typical type of care leave vlog videos. This one is more of a review of a specific service but also an overview of what you can expect generally um, and again some advice. Um, so this is a video about housing benefit and this it has been affecting me recently but might not ever affect you as a care leaver um, it might not be a problem um, but for me it has been a massive issue so um, as you may or may not know uh, as a care leaver you can do um, the, like something called a staying put scheme which is definitely implemented within Hampshire um, Hampshire Children's Services, Hampshire County Council, if you're under that local authority once you're 18 you can do the staying put scheme which I may have talked about before and that is where you can stay with your former foster carer at that point but because you're there local authority is no longer paying them for you to be there you have to find a new, a new way to pay to live there and the staying put scheme basically is a way of helping you to claim the benefits needed to pay your carer to continue to live there um, so uh, when I was doing that with Caroline, my former carer, I was on income support and housing benefit and at the time my authority for housing benefit was um, Tess Valley and uh, they were really good because they are a large council and they cover a large area um, and they were really quick and uh, they were good and they um, made the payments direct to Caroline so that I didn't have to bother with dealing with the money side of things which made everything a little bit more stress free um, and that kind of thing. So moving on a couple of years to now, I am living independently with James, my boyfriend, but I am supposed to be renting from his mum uh, because I can't just live here for free because that is unfair. Um, and I am supposed to be renting, but as of yet, I have not been able to pay anything. Um, and that is because um, since I moved in, the second I moved in, I made a claim to housing benefit. And that housing benefit was because I'm a care leaver and I'm in a unique situation that I can claim some money so that I can pay for the rent um, to um, James's mum to pay to live here. But um, I think it's maybe 18 weeks on, I still haven't heard, um, they were bodging my uh, evidence, I gave them at one point, I gave them my bank statements and by the time they got around to looking at them they needed the new updated bank statements so I had to submit those again um, and this kind of thing and this I might add is in a completely different area of the UK I am no longer under Tess Valley who treated me really well and really quick and um, did everything right uh, I am now under Warwick District Council um, which um, includes Leamington Spa, which is where I am now living, um, and their benefit system is <laughs> awful. Uh, like, it's absolutely awful. We have, since I've lived here, we have had problems with the council tax, and that is a completely different issue. Everyone pays that. Uh, we've had problems with that um, because they seem to not be able to get their heads around whether we're students or not. Um, but that's a completely separate thing. I'm talking about the housing benefit. So I've now been told that it's gone to decision, I just have to wait for their letter to come through the post. Um, but it's just been so long. So my review, basically, of this service is that it's very poor, they need more staff, uh, and they need to be more on the ball with what they're doing and how long it takes them to process each thing. Uh, they say a straight in and out claim should take six to eight weeks and that is a claim where someone goes in, they fill out, they do the form, they provide all the evidence in one go and the authority don't need to ask for anything else from them. They don't need any more information, they don't need any more evidence. A straight in and out claim should take six to eight weeks. 
My problem has been because where I am in a unique situation and I'm living really far from the uni that I'm, that I'm attending um, is meant that I need to keep providing them with new evidence and then when I do provide them with evidence things like bank statements are time sensitive so obviously after um, after a certain period you then need to provide them with the new updated bank statement so things like that where they took too long to look at the evidence I gave it to them and they didn't look at it quick enough so it meant that um, by the time they did they ended up to ask me for new bank statements which then took twice as long as it should have done to look at the same the same evidence um, and all that kind of thing which has meant that we're now in the now where I have been living here for maybe three months, maybe more, and poor James's mum has not even had any rent from me yet, and that is just because I can't make it myself. Um, I've been trying to get a job here over the summer and I just can't, no one wants me, which is really sad. Um, I, can't, I, I haven't been able to get a job at all, um, so I have not been able to pay for any rent at all and I was just hoping that the housing benefit would have been much more efficient like my past experience um, so that just didn't go as planned um, but when they do make the decision and when they do actually finally pay it it is because I've always provided all of the evidence within the four weeks the claim hasn't been paused or stopped the claim has always been ongoing which means because it's been an ongoing claim when they do actually finally pay they will backdate until the very beginning which is over three months ago so that means they will backdate for all of the rent and those that means nothing is left counted for um, the one thing they have said this time though is that they won't be paying me uh, they won't be paying sorry they will be paying me they won't be paying uh, James's mum like they did when they paid Caroline for me back in the day um, I have to deal with that the, myself this time they have not agreed to pay they do it in special circumstances where they'll pay the landlord but um, apparently that doesn't apply to me so uh, I'm getting paid the money and I have to deal with paying it to my landlord which is fair enough because I'm older now and I can probably manage that myself um, so overall my experience has been absolutely dreadful but once the uh, results like uh, happen it will be worth it because I do need the support from them um, so as for general advice really a lot of you may not even experience this kind of bad service obviously I'm generally speaking to Hampshire local authority kids and young people in care because that's where I come from so I can only speak from my experience with that local authority but um, so a lot of you if you remain in the Hampshire area you will experience a good service because the like Test Valley are good and Eastley were kind of okay but are good as well um, so you won't have to experience this um, I've kind of concluded that the reason that I'm experiencing this is because the area I'm living in is a very nice area and generally people who live here are well off which means that they don't seem to focus their task force on the housing benefit department of their council because really I don't think that many people, especially not people in my situation, young people are claiming um, and I think that's why I've had such a difficult time with it because one they haven't seen this kind of thing before so they don't really know what to do or two they just don't have enough task force on it to get it done quicker um, so that's what I've concluded as for advice uh, like I said just a minute ago I don't think any of you will experience something like this because if you are in the Hampshire area then you will experience good if you are not in the Hampshire area or if you're not even in this country um, I, I don't really know what to say to you really if you're um, around where I am if you're living in a quite a well-off area and you're trying to claim benefits I would expect it to take I would, if I were you, just expect it to take longer than normal, be patient, um, because it might be a little bit more difficult. Um, 
the one thing that from my experience I can advise is if you live close to the council, which I do, the council offices are in Leamington Spa, like I can walk there quite easily if I want to, don't email and don't phone them up every time you need to get something done go in and speak to a person face to face because it is so much harder to ignore a person or disregard what they're doing or trying to say if they are right there in front of you making you do something that's from their point of view if i'm sat there in front of them kind of saying i need you to do this i need this from you they'll have to do it because i'm there but if you phone them and ask them, they'll say, oh yeah, I'll make sure that that's done. And then they hang up the phone and it never happens. And you ring again and they say, oh yeah, no, it didn't happen, but we'll make sure that it's done. What needs to happen is you need to go in there and chase them up yourself, physically in person, because they can't ignore you then. And that's what I've been doing this whole time, because um, obviously where I live so close and they're taking so long, I've just been going in. I got back from holiday and I expected, because before I went on holiday, I was told that um, I would um, get a letter soon because it had been gone. It had gone to decision, and it shouldn't take any more than a week. I went on holiday for a week, and I got back, and I expected a letter, but I didn't have one. So you may have noticed that my hairstyle is different. Uh, that is because I uh, was just running through the video and about to edit the video when I noticed that it cuts off. Uh, just like just while I'm speaking just before the end so what I was saying was um, that they were telling me how it should be done by the Wednesday and I just responded that well if it's not I'll be back here and he said oh that is okay um, and I'm assuming he only said it's okay because he was assuming that he wouldn't have to see my face again but with all of my current experience with them I am totally non-believing that I'll have an answer by Wednesday and that I will have to go and chase them up again. Um, so as for advice, really I can only say is just keep on it and go keep putting pressure on to get uh, the answers you're looking for and just make sure that when you're chasing it up, go in person as much as that is possible, uh, if it is possible, just because that's the easiest way to actually get the results from people because they can't ignore you if you're there in person. Um, so hopefully uh, this helped you young people, care leavers, that kind of thing. Uh, hopefully it was helpful for everyone, no matter where you are. Um, but obviously I can only speak from my experience because I resonate from Hampshire and that local authority. Um, so if your area or your experience has different protocols, it's completely different than um, I unfortunately can't help you, I can only give general advice. Um, so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone else you think that it might benefit. Um, if you didn't like the video, don't be afraid to dislike it, which I'm sure most of you won't be. Um, and if you have experiences with um, councils and benefit systems and that kind of thing um, feel free to share your experience down below in the comments so that I can see what your experiences are like whether they're bad good or ugly like mine um, and I will see you next time goodbye